New at 5, a Bristow Animal Shelter is in danger of losing their property. Yeah, if this happens, Bristow and the surrounding area will be without an animal shelter for pets and farm animals, too. Fox 23's Alexa Mostrom is live with what the shelter operator is calling a dire situation. Yes, now this shelter serves people as far away as Oklahoma City, and they have until August. They have until August to get the money needed to save their property. Oh Beth Roberts runs the Bristow Barnyard Animal Rescue. She says they currently have around 150 farm animals and 45 domestic animals living on the property. These babies don't have a voice. They don't ask to be put in the neglect and cruel situations that they're put in, dumped on the side of the road or beaten or chained for their whole life. Um, and that's why we do what we do. The shelter is family owned. All the animals are taken care of just by Roberts, her daughter and son-in-law. Everything's right here. Our, our whole life is here. Roberts says the shelter takes in animals from everywhere. We have pulled over 200 animals from the Oklahoma City Shelter, most of which were on the euthanasia list. People come with animals that they found dumped in the county. Once again, there's just not a county shelter, so we get a lot of that traffic. The rescue also has a spay and neuter clinic attached to it. Since last year, they have safely spayed and neutered over 500 animals. We received a wonderful donation from a family estate that allowed us to build our 1,000 square foot nice spay and neuter facility. Now, the shelter is in danger of closing for good. We're in a situation within just a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, we have to refinance our mortgage here to be able to continue to stay and do what we do. Robert says their community has been incredible with helping the shelter in the past. Now, they need help one more time. The best case scenario was if we um, had a private lender be able to give us the amount that we need to secure the loan. Um, donations, everything is, I'm grateful for everything that is sent in. The shelter just wants to be able to keep saving lives. There were so many animals at that property and it was just clear that they were all so loved. I'm pretty sure every rescue had a unique name given to them. To find more information on how to help or donate, go to fox23.com and find this story. Live covering news that matters, I'm Alexa Mostrom, Fox 23 News.